Hi, it's Leanne. How are you going? Um, I hope you're going really well. And I just wanted to talk to you about um, one of the topics I'm going to talk about next week in our live 10-day uh, challenge for our Power Up, Woman Up, Level Up, um, to get you strong and, and in your power. But what I want to talk about, I mean, I've done a post on this, um, I think it was last week, this week, maybe two day, a couple of days ago, about overwhelm and about how overwhelm affects us as busy mums, busy, busy women, affecting our health, clearly, and it affects a lot of other things. But the question I had um, for one of my clients, I suppose, and, and it, it's a lot, um, it's not just one client, sorry, my phone's playing up, um, it affects all of us at some point in time. And I remember when the kids were really little, it was like, I swear to God, I reckon it was like a seven-year fog where you just didn't have any clarity, you couldn't think uh, very far ahead, you couldn't plan. You actually just didn't have that mental capacity to, uh, I suppose even your coping skills weren't as, um, your resilience wasn't as strong, you weren't as emotionally resistant to, to to, you know, just the daily ups and downs. So I think, um, I know overwhelm, I remember looking around at everything, um, like, you, you know, your ironing and your housework and your cooking and everything else when the kids were little going, I just, you know, you just don't know where to start. It's like this overwhelming feeling of dread. So there wasn't one particular thing you could say that was overwhelming me, and, and I bet you feel the same way, but it, there's a lot, right? But... I suppose if I had the clarity back then and I, and I could see what I can see now even with my own clients is it's actually not that hard to reduce the overwhelm um, if you can see it, right? If you can name and shame it and you can see it, um, you can see what – and take that emotion out of it, I suppose, and, and look at it factually as to what is going on in your day-to-day -day and where it's coming from, where the overwhelm is coming from. Is it a physical thing? Is it like you've taken on too much, you're just too tired, you're not listening to your body, um, you're totally distracted so you're not in the moment and you're not prioritising on what's important because I think that's a really big um, thing because we all do that, especially at the moment. Um, I don't think I had Facebook when I had kids, isn't that bad? But I didn't have Facebook to distract me so I think we probably had um, more chance of just getting on with the job. But um, now there's a, a reason to ignore it, for sure. Um, there's more reasons to ignore your, what you've got to get done. Um, or is it more a, a mental thing where you really, again, I suppose tired comes into it, but, you know, from your exhaustion and your fatigue comes a, a mental drain, negativity, um, you know, no clarity, or you just get anxious because you just can't keep up. You know, you might have, a, might have had a perfection ideal of how it was going to be when you were going to be a mum or you might have had an idea of how things were meant to be, your beliefs from previously or your form beliefs about yourself and about the way you're doing things and your perception. So overwhelm can come from our, ourselves obviously and the way we're thinking and, and the pressure we put on ourselves. So it's a really good idea if you can name and shame that and you can see what's happening um, it's no longer just something you can just feel like a dread. You can actually work towards reducing the overwhelm and and working through it as it as it comes. So I, I'm big on the whole picture, right? So I'm not just interested in um, weight loss by itself because I believe it's the last thing really you need to work on. You need to look at the other areas of your life that's creating the overwhelm. Um, and emotional eating is one of them because of overwhelm. But um, and also, you know, unmotivation, unmotivation, that's not even a word, unmotivated, not wanting to exercise, overwhelm. Like, there's a lot of things that come back to that um, not being able to function properly because you're just totally overwhelmed with, with what's on your plate, yeah? So it's a really big thing. Like I said, I like to look at the whole picture for a woman. I don't like to just look at, um, you know, their, their morning snack. It's got to be a, it's a much bigger problem, a bit much bigger issue, I suppose. So reducing the overwhelm can really wipe out quite a few issues, right? So you can look at how we can simplify your day, look at how you can prioritise what's important to you, find your values and, and work towards that to um, tick off the things that you have to do and, and try and be a bit more realistic of, and not so much of a perfectionism um, perfectionist about what you what you expect you, you should be doing, right? And you should be able to manage and you should be able to get done. Um, you need to be able to remove some of those things that overwhelm you um, 
change your thinking to cope a little better and be a little stronger and more resilient. Um, outsource, outsource where it's not, you know, not something that you have to do, right? If it's something that someone else can help with, and I suppose asking for help, not being a martyr as well, is a big thing when we're a, um, a mum. So trying to share the load a little bit and being a bit more realistic about what we're, we're doing because I can tell you there's nothing healthy and nothing healthy can come from when you're just mentally exhausted, physically exhausted, overwhelmed with what's on your plate and there's nothing like a passion killer, right, if you're unmotivated and, and you just just can't get through that. So the stress and overwhelm, nothing great is going to come from that place. Right, so we need to step out of that and move towards um, a lighter way to live, I suppose, or a happier way to live, yeah? So um, that's my little uh, chat about making your life easier and making your days easier and smoother and not so um, heavy, feeling heavy and feeling down or feeling um, anxious about what's got to be done. Um, I, I have, I mean, I do think some of the younger mums seem to have mastered a little bit better than maybe when we, when I was with um you know with with young ones but I mean I we did do things but um it just seemed seemed really difficult to do it now I don't know whether um new mums feel that way <laughs> today or not whether they're just um able to network a little better I'm not really sure but um yeah so I just want to talk to you about that because that's a really big thing and you want to remove that feeling of dread because no one wants to live like that and no one wants to be exhausted. Um, you know, so anyway, if you want to have a chat about um, how you can simplify your day and maybe where you can remove some of the overwhelm or outsource it or plan a little better, prioritise what's important to you and let go and make peace with the stuff that's not important. And I think that's a really big thing too. Um, I've told numerous um, women over time, you need to make peace with certain things, right? So find peace with the fact that yeah, the floors aren't perfectly clean or I haven't got the washing folded. Um, whatever it is that's bugging you, which really does play on your mind, and again, that's like an overwhelm thing, find peace with what you're prepared to let go. Yeah, and, and that's probably not the most important thing, right? So find what's important to you, do what's important to you, let the rest go. Yeah, you'll still get to it in the end. And there'll be plenty more. There'll be plenty more washing and then plenty more dirty floors. But anyway, so I hope that was helpful. Um, next week I've got the 10-day the live feeds in the um, Power Up, Level Up, Woman Up group that I created um, where I'm going to actually share information like this, but we're going to pick a topic every day that's going to help you release your power a little bit more to um, help you step, step up into that power and realise what you already have is, is awesome, right, and that you can do this. So um, any questions, message me and I will get back to you. And if you want to have a, um, you know, a proper chat, just message me and I'll organise a, a free chat with you to see where you're at. Okay, hope you have a beautiful day. All right, bye.